Hi, this is Liquid Boy, and today I'm gonna go through an awesome, awesome Photoshop CS2 effect that I came across um, called the circuit board effect. Um, it won't make sense until you see the end product, but I can see applications for it in so many of my web projects. Anyway, it's a I came across this article in a awesome website called PhotoshopTutorials.ws. Um, and it was written by a Denny Tang who in my opinion is a guru of Photoshop he has some of the best tutorials that you'll ever read take a good look at it so um, the first step is to, uh, to start with a picture uh, any picture but as long as it's big you know greater than a thousand by a thousand pixels so in this case I went to Flickr and I searched for a picture of an animal um, with a with permission to use um, this actual photo here of a, a tiger is was uploaded by a MEDB33 uh, thanks for doing that so I'll just right click on the picture and copy so then I'll go into my Photoshop I'll close that down you were supposed to say that press control in to create a new template it inherits the size of the copied picture from Flickr and I'll click OK on that and I'll paste the picture into here control V okay so there's the picture so the first step is to make a, a copy of this layer the, the quick key for that is control J as, as you'll see here it created a new layer so this is the layer that we're going to be working with leave the background as it is because that um, contributes to the overall effect of the clipboard. So working, making sure that the copied layer is activated, the first step is to apply a mosaic filter. So go and click on filter, click on pixelate, there's mosaic. And this mosaic basically um, ch chunks up the picture into squares, blurs out the bits in between. Um, and 16 is a good size. Basically, this is the size of the little squares that will make up the uh, the circuit board. All right. So over time, you'll um, as you play with this effect, this will make more sense to you. So let's make it 16. That's just that's the, uh, the size indicated by the tutorial. So the next step is to apply another filter called the Find Edges filter. So filter, stylize, Find Edges. And this does what it says. It finds the edges of the um, those 16 pixel size blocks that we defined in the previous filter. So the third filter that we're going to apply is the median filter. And go to filter, noise, median. If I'm going too fast, I apologize, but as you play around with these effects more, you'll um, come to understand what they mean. So in this case, the radius of the median filter is 2 that's about right. Now the fourth filter that we're going to apply is the minimum filter. So go into filter, other, minimum. And we'll set this to a size of uh, four, 4 pixels is fine. So as you see here from the preview, it gives it, there's enough space between the blocks. That's what you're looking for. And the last step for this first layer for this, um, the top layer is to invert it. So what do we have at the end of this layer? What we have is we've taken the original picture and we've created blocks that will underpin the actual circuit board. So if we zoom in, in on this, as you can see, they just blurred, uh, blurred boxes of uh, random sizes. Okay. So the next step is to create a new layer copying the existing layer that we just played with, so Control J and what we're going to do to this layer is we're going to create outlines of the boxes to give them sort of a glowing a electric electronic effect so the first step is to, as we've just done, duplicate the layer then we're going to apply a um, fine edges filter because we want to create like a border effect so filter stylize fine edges I'll 
just zoom in there. And as you can see, it found the edges. Now, the next step is to invert this layer. Control I. Zoom in again. That's more definitive. But now we're going to set the opacity of this layer to 25. So now you'll see, basically what you see is the two layers that above the original literally merged with each other. So we've got the definitive blocks. So if we look at the original picture, then what we did is we pixelated it mosaic it, made little blocks for the circuit board. Now we enhance the edges of these blocks to make it a ele ele electrical, to give it like an electrical effect. Right, so if you if you zoom in it more, and just change the visibility, we'll see that what's happened. So the original blocked it up, electrified it. And that itself is an awesome effect but there's much much more so the next step is to actually create I'll zoom back out to 50% the next step is to create connections between the little blocks which which underpins the actual circuit board concept All right, the little wires that connect the little components on the circuit board so to do that we create a new layer but we'll base the layer the, the, the new layer on the original picture. So I can click on the activate the original background image and press Ctrl J to copy it and we'll bring this picture to the very top. So now with this layer what well, the first step that we do is to apply the mosaic filter Sorry, pixelate mosaic. And 16 pixels is about right again. Yeah, that's fine. And we're going to apply a median filter. filter. Noise median. And this time it's going to be a, a size of 8. We want to sort of blur the the um, pixels and then we're going to as you might have guessed it apply a find edges filter it's taking a little while computer's chugging away find edges filter stylize find edges now last step is to control I this new layer control invert the layer, control I. So there's the connections. Now how do we get these other three layers coming on top? Well to do that we'll change the blend mode rather than use the opacity we'll change the blend mode to screen. And there it is. The connections that link up all the little components on the circuit board. So if we zoom in there's that cool effect. Now I can see myself using this for so many different web projects that I'm currently working on. Playing with the sizes of the pixels, you know, the different settings on each of the filters. There you go, the circuit board effect. Thanks Denny.